Right, in today's video, we're gonna make a crab pot. And we're gonna make a crab pot out of some stuff that's being thrown out again. We've done a video like this before. Um, we used a shop display basket to make a pot. And if you wanna see that video, I'll put a link in the description and you can have a look at that. So what are we gonna to use today? We are gonna use a bit of old rope, a flower pot, this will be for the neck, and an old washing basket. Now I say an old washing basket, you can go and buy a new one if you like. Don't go pinching your wife or your mother's washing basket. Um, I take no responsibility for that. And for the base, well, for the base, we're gonna be using a piece of this over here which is basically an old towel rail, you know, for the radiators kind of thing, warm your towels up and that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off a chunk of that, which will then fit beautifully onto the bottom there, like that, it'll be strapped on, and that will also act as the weights for the base of the pot. And then what we'll do is we are gonna take that down with us, and we'll chuck it out in the sea for a day or so, and we'll see if we can catch any lobsters or crabs in it. Now, I made one of these years ago out of a, like a round basket that had a lid on it, and I just turned the basket upside down, strapped the, the lid on, turned it upside down, put a rock in it, put a hole in it with a neck in it, and I used to catch crabs and lobsters with it. Um, it was more like one of these round inkwell kind of styles, so it did catch crab. It caught a shanker quite well. But, like I say, this was being chucked out of the house because it's broken, the handles are broken, so what I'll do is I'm gonna cut those off then we'll stick that on and we'll turn it into that. And we'll try it a few times and when it's done its test run or if, if we'll see if it catches, if it catches I might keep using it for a little bit, um, then I'll dump it after that, but just for now. So it, just to show you can make traps or pots out of anything pretty much. So first things first, I wanna see if this will cut without shattering because as these baskets get old, obviously they become brittle. And it does, so we've got to cut this off because it's going to be a bit of a problem for the base otherwise. So we'll take that off, and then we'll take that off like that. And this one, I actually use these for cutting the pipe when I'm making the crab pots, so they work very, very well. He says, as he can't get through it. I don't know why that one's been a. So all I need to do is just clean up these edges so they're flatter and be ready to cut the um, steel for the base. You know what's amusing? Wait till that stops. What's amusing with these grinders is they make the switch, which is you've got to push it up and it clips on to make it. It's like a safety switch thing, and it actually makes it incredibly dangerous because it keeps slipping with the vibration and stopping. So you keep having to try and hold it with weird angles and that, keep your finger on it, thereby making it more dangerous than what it's supposed to help with. That's the way it is, it is these days, it was quite often with safety equipment, you end up having to fiddle and end up having an accident. Right, there we have the base done, or well, pretty much done. Um, I've just got to attach it on, so I'll just string it to the bottom of this. It's a little bit, I need to just um, clean off the edge of this plastic a little bit so it sits properly, but once it's like that, we'll strap it on. I'll just use some string to seal up this hole, and then it's a case of cutting a hole in the top of this as well. I'll probably do that with a drill, just lots of small holes. And I'll probably use this one. I might see if I can get one slightly bigger, although 
I mean a lobster will get in that, but you won't get you'll get a fair sized crab in it, but uh, we'll see, I might just keep it for lobster. What I could do is I could put this one in to start with and if we take it out and test it and it's not working too well I can always make a slightly bigger one or cut the hole a bit bigger and stick a bigger neck in so So there you have it, the Lobster Master 2000 in red and white. Now, as you can see, it's finished pretty much. 30 minute job, make a crab pot. So, I'd say this is only a bit of fun. We're gonna chuck this out. Um, we've got a rope on it here, so it pulls up like that. I actually set the neck slightly off center just to allow for that lifting so it's not too low in case the lobster kicks back and goes straight out the pot if it, one ever actually goes in here um, I've just got to drill a small hole here where I'll push a wire up through and there'll be the bait will be underneath that so that they can't get to it but they'll have to go in the hole to get to it and like I say we'll go and chop this out we'll give it a go um, the video will probably cut to the time we're putting it out or picking it up or both and uh, we'll see if we can catch anything in it it's not that likely that we're going to catch a lot, but you never know, it might turn into the best pot that's ever been made. Right, well, we're going to chuck this one right there. Pretty close in, I don't want too far. Um, it's not that heavy, so hopefully it won't get dragged around. That's why I've waited till it's calm. It's been about two weeks since I made it. Right, somewhere around here will do. We just get away from the rock a bit, I'm not too close. This will do somewhere around here. Hopefully we're down the edge and not on the rock. Right about there. I haven't got much rope on either, so need to be close in where it's shallow. Here we go. We'll be back tomorrow to see if it's caught anything. the best bait in this pot because it's like a little bit of tail of a conga but I'm going to use um, I've got some better ones today so I'm taking it with that but lobster it'll be undersized probably let's just check yeah just under but washing basket Put a better bit of bait in this. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. That bit of bait that should catch up tomorrow or the next day or whenever I come out next.
we did our stinky bait we put in yesterday. Just under this one, we'll uh, gauge it. Let's have a look. A first size lobster in you know, a little pot, and it worked with that bit of bait, and you would have seen it from the previous lift in the video. Right, it's going to move. Right, it's about quarter to five in the morning. I've actually been out and pulled the pot. You can see there is lobster in it. The reason I pulled it is I came out, what, half past four, and there was a diver coming out from the beach there, heading straight towards the pot. So I uh, quickly shot over and grabbed the pot before he got there. Not that he necessarily would have taken anything, but <laughs> you never know, especially when it's this time of morning. And we have had some funny goings on, apparently, I believe with the store pots, so. Not 100% sure on that, I've got to speak to somebody about that first, but we'll find out. But um, no, so I didn't want to take the chance with the uh, with the, the small pot that a diver would take anything out of it, just in case they would do that. So anyway, that's why you don't see me, uh, and I'm holding the camera because I've got the wrong bracket again. But I've got the right bracket, but I don't have the screw thing I need. So I'll have to try something because we're going to go out fishing anyway today at some point. But there you go. This is our next day's catch. We've got one little one, which I'm going to throw over the side, and he'll find his way. And this one is definitely size, and a size one. So that's our second lobster in, what's that, three, four lifts, is it now? Something like that. Three or four lifts. 